Are you kidding me? It's morphin' time. Hello, this is Sanad here, and welcome to my review of SH Figuarts Sakura Haruno, Inheritor of Tsunade's Indomitable Will. Uh, so this is the new uh, Figuart for this Return to Naruto line, because Sakura was never made in the previous line, and it's actually pretty nice to finally get her. Now, I previously reviewed Naruto and Sasuke on this channel, and when I reviewed them, uh, well, I looked at their boxes. I just wanted to point out, Sakura's box isn't a smaller size, uh, so she's actually not as wide of a box, and I wonder if that's because her, like, effect piece isn't super large like Sasuke's, um, and she doesn't have something like Naruto's extra arms, so when you put them up like this, I mean, the boxes look pretty nice, uh, but you're gonna have to, like, adjust them slightly, because, yeah, they're, they're not quite the same size, uh, so I'll be curious to see with Kakashi, uh, who's the next release in, like, December, I think, uh, Kakashi should be interesting because, I'm not entirely certain if he's going to be in the smaller box, because he doesn't even come with an effect part. So, take that as you will. Now, with Sakura here, it's nice to finally have her in the line, and I think that uh, this is something that a lot of people were looking for, so let's see if she's any good. There's nothing to compare to as in a previous version. There is only this one, so let's look at Sakura Haruno. So now that we got Sakura out of the package, I think she turned out pretty nice. Uh, like I said, there's no like model to go off of, of a previous release. But in terms of just, you know, the overall, like, detail and design, I think it works pretty good. Uh, some of the things that sort of don't work as well is, like, the elbow joints are very noticeable, which is just a figure arts thing. Uh, and the, the cut in the torso isn't too bad, uh, which does allow for a nice range of movement. But I was actually really impressed with, like, how they have the zipper detail fully painted in, uh, especially on this, like, skirt piece, which I always thought this was a weird design. Like, uh, okay, so it's like a, a skirt, and then you unzip it for battle. Uh, but anyways... It does have all that detail. You've got kind of the, the circular design that's been on uh, most of Sakura's costumes in the past, um, or not costumes, but outfits. Looking at her boots, you see that it is molded to have the boot line, which is pretty nice, and like down to the feet as well. Uh, you've got that kind of sort of heel look to her, uh, which it's pretty good. I think I think it's overall like a really nice sculpt. You got the, uh, the uh, kunai holder on the leg, which is really nice. Uh, the only thing that I think is unsightly is this back section. So, with the way the shoulders work, uh, because she's got these smaller arms due to being, um, you know, a, a girl, uh, she's got not as much coverage on the back of the shoulder. So, like, somebody like Naruto, so you can see with Naruto, it's fully covered in, so you can see the whole socket. But then with Sakura, because she's got the bare arms plus the, the thinner, like, shoulder, uh, you can see the pin on the back, uh, which... <sighs> I don't know if that's a big issue, because it's not like I'm displaying figures from the back, but it is noticeable when posing. Luckily, uh, even with the way this works, you know, the farthest out pose, you're not going to notice it from most angles unless you're looking at it from an odd angle. But it's just kind of a weird uh, little thing with the design. Uh, it's the only real complaint I think I have with the skull, because overall she looks great. Uh, I like the headband and the way it's molded. I've always liked how she had this uh, red banded headband because it kind of it etched her color scheme better than the blue and i think it always looked nice um and, I, and you know i think the face is good too i don't really have any other complaints uh it's a pretty pretty nice looking soccer overall now articulation wise uh she's got the uh ball jointed neck that just goes everywhere uh at two points at the top of the neck and the base of the neck she's got these shoulders to move out they do full ball joint rotations so they can move in and out and then in and out uh with the covering means that it actually looks natural, uh, which is nice. And then she's got 360, you got a bicep swivel here, a double jointed elbow that doesn't go as far as I wish it did, and I thought that maybe, just with how it looked, it may pull out a little bit to go farther, but it doesn't. Uh, that's that's pretty much the only range you get. It's not too bad, though. Uh, it works for most poses. Uh, her wrists, they, they rotate, they move in and out. Uh, they're on like a, a ball jointed system. Upper torso uh, moves. What's nice, too, is that you can see if you tilt her back, then the actual zipper line continues, uh, which is pretty nice. You got a waist turning here, hips that move out, hips that move forward, and then hips that move back, and not restricted by the skirt, because this is a very, it's not a super thin material where it feels fragile, it's just a thinner material, so you can actually like pose her correctly. Uh, and then also, I think there's a slight, because it's, it's just a ball joint up in there, so there's a slight, yeah, there's a thigh swivel at the top there. 
What's really cool is she does have a thigh swivel on either leg, but you can't tell because they, they hit it into the sculpt. So you can see that they cut it just below the short line there. So then she's got a swivel there, and then just below the bandage line there, she's got that. So that's pretty good. And then double joint knees, also excellent. She's also got a forward and back uh, pivot. Not so much back, it really just, just goes forward. And then this is ball jointed at the top. And then it's rotate here, and as well as a toe joint. So she's got a pretty great range of movement. Uh, so you can get her into any kind of pose that you want. But what good is articulation without accessories? So let's take a look at some options. So in the hand category, she's got a new extra left hand that allows her to do kind of an iconic pose from Shippuden. Uh, since she did start using more uh, physical taijutsu mixed with medical ninjutsu in order to create stronger attacks, uh, this definitely fits her personality in Shippuden, and I think it's a great uh, inclusion. It's just a simple extra hand, but honestly, it adds a lot of personality. She also features these open hands, which don't look too gigantic like Naruto and Sasuke's did. And then she also has these more relaxed hands, which I think look a little awkward for some reason, and I haven't figured out any major poses to use them with. And she comes with this effect piece to simulate some of her jutsu. Uh, it's just kind of a simple little, like, sort of fiery, just punching effect. But you know what? I think her expression's a little too neutral for this. Uh, oh, if only she came with four extra faces. Swapping the faces works much like Sasuke, where you remove the top part of her hair, and then you can remove the face and swap it for a new one. Now that fits the pose a lot better. So this is her more enraged, sort of uh, intense face. We have another neutral face that's more of kind of a half smile, not so uh, serious as the last one. She has this more relaxed, happier face that's kind of like when she first saw Naruto when he returned home. And she has a comically goofy, enraged face, which is sort of like when she saw Naruto when he first came home and realized he hadn't changed that much. All right, so size-wise, here is Sakura with Naruto and Sasuke. As you can see, she is standing just a little bit shorter than Naruto and a little bit shorter than Sasuke. Um, we were, there was some discussions in the comments about scale with uh, Naruto and Sasuke. So when it comes to Sakura, at least, uh, let's move. Sasuke out of the way for a moment. Uh, looking at Sakura's size to Naruto, you can see he is a little bit taller. And uh, I was looking at some artwork uh, done by Kishimoto, and uh, we can see here that sort of standing very neutral, uh, Naruto is a little bit taller than Sakura. Uh, he did grow quite a bit between uh, Naruto and Shippuden era stuff. And then uh, when talking about the scale between Naruto and Sasuke, where people were like, why is he you know, almost the same height. Well, they used to have a huge height discrepancy, uh, but again, going to Kishimoto artwork, um, which is hard to see, he puts Naruto and Sasuke at about the same height, uh, with Naruto's hair being a little bit taller. Um, so it, it really is one of those things where I think, in terms of scale, uh, while the anime may have portrayed it many different ways through different animators, uh, looking at a lot of the manga art, this seems to be around the same heights that they should be, uh, and Kakashi should be a little bit taller than all of them when he comes out in December. But uh, size-wise, I think they all work pretty good together. And in fact, here's art specifically showing how much taller Naruto got in uh, part two of the manga, because, yeah, he grew up a whole lot, uh, which made him taller than the people he used to be shorter than, uh, which happens in real life all the time. So overall, I think SH Figure Arts Sakura is pretty good and a nice addition to the collection. So if you are collecting the Naruto Figure Arts, she's definitely worth picking up. And if you wanted a nice Sakura figure, I think it finally arrived. And it's nice to finally see another new character in the lineup. Now the next release is Kakashi, and stay tuned for reviews, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on an upload. Also check out other videos while you're on the channel because there's other stuff besides just Naruto, and I hope you'll enjoy what else I've been putting out. Also be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below asking any questions you may have about the figure, as well as leaving your thoughts on the overall video. And also be sure to check out Hero Club at hero-club.com for news and more, and my awesome graphic designer on Twitter at DarkClaw643. And until next time, this is Sandout saying... Goodbye.